Welcome to the Big Bang Basketball Channel. Today we are going over the top 10 moments of Stephen Curry. Kindly subscribe and enjoy the video. After being limited to just five games in the 2019-20 season, Steph Curry's brilliance has lit up the NBA this season, catapulting the star guard back into the national spotlight. Curry has provided plenty of historic moments this season, so narrowing it down to just 10 plays wasn't simple. Here are the top 10 plays from Steph's outstanding 2020-21 season, all of which can be seen in the video up top. Number 10, 2018 NBA Finals Game 2, Finals Record 9 Threes. With a 1-0 lead against the Cavaliers in their fourth consecutive finals, Steph exploded in Game 2 to take control of the home court and secure a promising 2-0 series lead. Curry found his range in the fourth quarter, making all five of his three-point attempts after shooting 4 for 11 through the first three quarters of the game. When Steph hit a hot streak, what was only a 10-point game heading into the fourth quarter became completely out of reach. With a 21-point advantage, the Warriors were able to defeat Cleveland in Game 2 by shattering the finals record for three-pointers made in a game with his fifth three of the quarter. Curry received his third NBA championship ring as the Warriors swept Cleveland. Number 9, 2017 NBA Finals Game 5, 34 points versus the Cavaliers. After blowing a 3-1 lead in 2016, the NBA fans and media were all over Golden State all season. With a 3-1 lead in the 2017 Finals, the Warriors needed to close out Game 5 at home to silence any chance for LeBron and the Cavs to complete another comeback. Curry was up to the task finishing the game with 34 points and 10 assists on the night to secure the Warriors' second championship in three years. Curry was not awarded Finals MVP due to the success of new teammate Kevin Durant, but his 26.8 points, 9.4 assists, 8 rebounds, and 2.2 steals per game proved equally vital in winning his second championship ring. Number 8, NBA record 13 threes in a game. On November 4, 2016, Curry snapped his 157-game streak with a three-pointer when he shot 0 for 10 from beyond the arc against the Los Angeles Lakers. The following night, Steph broke what was then the record for three-pointers in a game when he buried 13 shots from long range against the New Orleans Pelicans. Curry, Kobe Bryant, and Danielle Marshall were previously tied for three-pointers in a game with 12. But Curry's 13th three-pointer that night brings him even closer to owning just about every three-point record the league has to offer. Scoring 46 on the night, his 13 shooting came from 17 attempts from deep, shooting 76.5% from three. His record for most triples in a game would be broken by his teammate Clay Thompson, 14 in the 2018-19 season. Number seven, 73 win season. The 2015-16 season was historic for the Warriors, and it's no coincidence it happened during Curry's unanimous MVP season. Riding Steph's hot streak to start the year, the Warriors set a league record when they won their first 24 games. They entered the All-Star break with 48 wins and only four losses, which was also another league record. On the very last night of the season, they defeated the Memphis Grizzlies to secure their 73rd win, the most in a season in NBA history, surpassing the Chicago Bulls in 1995-96. In the playoffs, they beat both the Houston Rockets and Portland Trailblazers in five games. Trailing the Oklahoma City Thunder 3-1 in the Western Conference Finals, Curry scored 30, 31, and 36 points to lead a comeback as the Warriors won three straight games to go to their second consecutive NBA Finals. In the Finals, they held a 3-1 lead over LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers, but failed to close out the series, eventually losing in Game 7 at home. Number 6, First Unanimous MVP the team look of the 2015-16 season will come in a moment, but Curry's hot streak from the 2014-15 season quickly carried over into 2015-16. Steph opened the first three games of the season scoring 40, 41, and 53 points, the most any player had scored in the first three games since Michael Jordan scored 118 points to start the 1989-90 season. He broke his record of threes in a season again, but this time made 402 three-point field goals, a record that still stands to this day. Before this season, no one had touched 300 three-pointers made in a season. He averaged a league high 30.1 points and 2.1 steals along with 6.7 assists and 5.4 rebounds per game, earning him the first unanimous MVP award in NBA history. 
Number five, game winner versus Oklahoma City Thunder. We'll get to the entire 2015-16 season shortly, but this game against Oklahoma City was one of the biggest highlights of Curry's second MVP season. Curry posted 46 points and six assists while knocking down at the time NBA single game record, tying 12 three-pointers in a victory over one of the league's best teams. With the game tied at 118 in overtime, no three he hit was bigger than the last one, as you will see below. Number four, first MVP and NBA championship. The 2014-15 NBA season was the true farewell party for the superstar everyone knows today. The Warriors made a coaching change and hired Steve Kerr, who allowed them to play at a faster pace and gave Curry free reign to shoot whenever he wanted. Golden State benefited greatly from this style of play, winning 67 games and finishing first in the Western Conference. Curry averaged 23.8 points and 7.7 .7 assists per game, while also breaking his record for three-pointers in a single season by knocking down 286 shots from beyond the arc. In the playoffs, he broke the record for three-pointers in a single postseason, en route to winning the Warriors' first NBA title in 40 years. Number three, 54 points at Madison Square Garden. New in 2013, Curry showed Knicks fans they were right to be frustrated when he didn't lose to New York on draft night. Even though the Warriors lost, Steph posted a career-high 54 points. He shot 18 of 28 from the field and knocked down 11 of 13 three-point attempts, falling just one three shy from tying what was then the NBA record. In this same season, he broke the record for triples scored in a season by burying 272 shots from deep, a record that he would later destroy on three more occasions. Number two, the 2009 NBA Draft. After Curry's improbable tournament run in 2008, he decided to stick around for his junior season in 2009. Failing to make the NCAA tournament, Curry declared for the 2009 NBA Draft. His size depreciated his draft stock, but his shooting stroke and playmaking ability still earned him a top 10 pick. Selected with the seventh overall pick, Curry was the fourth guard taken. The Minnesota Timberwolves had back-to-back -back picks at five and six and selected two guards, Johnny Flynn and Ricky Rubio over Steph. Curry was greeted by loud but respectful boos from passionate New York fans who were disappointed they did not get the sharp shooting guard with the following pick. Number one, 2008 March Madness Tournament Run. In 2008, Davidson College earned the number 10 seed in March Madness after a 20-0 conference record. Led by Curry, the Wildcats made one of the most improbable tournament runs to date. In the first round versus number seven seed Gonzaga, Steph scored 40 points with 30 in the second half to advance Davidson to the next round. Now matched up with Georgetown, one of the favorites to win the 2008 tournament, Curry's magic didn't stop there. Trailing by 17 at halftime, Steph scored 25 points in the second half to upset the number two seeded Hoyas. He continued to roll, upsetting number three seed Wisconsin by scoring 30 points to advance to the Elite Eight. Despite a 25 point outing from Curry, Davidson fell to the future champion, Kansas Jayhawks, by four. Thanks for watching. If you watched this video till the end, you are amazing. If you want to watch more amazing videos like this, kindly subscribe and click the like button to become part of our family.